Welcome back for another one of our Super Magnet Man videos. In this video, we're going to be doing our Super Magnet Man crashes, which is what we've done in the past, about 10 years ago, we did this video. When we put these videos together and we started doing this, we had a few objectives in mind. One is education. We like to focus on helping students and people understand magnets so that they can use the magnets the way they need to. We also like to go over design considerations, the kind of things to consider when you're designing your applications. We also like to cover safety, and safety is what this video really is about, is we want you to understand the impact that you need to think ahead as you're going through planning to use one of these large magnets, how you can be sensitive to the fact that other metal objects are going to fly to it if you are not careful and haven't planned it well. Next, we have our videos that have some fun element to it, and that's one of the things you'll see at the end. We will do a few crashes just for your entertainment purposes, but the real purpose of this video is safety. So I'm going to set up a large magnet. I've got a 3-inch diameter, 3-inch thick N50 magnet, and we're going to put some typical shop tools out on the table, and I want you to start to get an idea of the distance that they can react to the magnet and how fast they fly to the magnet. As you can see, this is a 3-inch long, 3-inch diameter N50 magnet. This is extremely powerful and dangerous. It's about a $1,000 magnet. We do not want to damage it letting a bunch of material fly up to it. So I've made a little plastic box that I can mount this in, and now we can sweep over some of the standard things you'll find in your shop. And it's very common for people to just leave these things around and not anticipate how the magnet is going to pick them up. The main problem that we have with the safety on these large magnets is not often as much the magnets jumping to something as it is your reaction when you see that. You're holding a magnet in your hand and out of the corner of your eye, you catch something moving in response to the magnetic field and you jump or you drop something and that causes a lot more injuries than handling the magnet. Granted, if I was holding this magnet without these gloves, I'd be bleeding pretty bad right now. In the last video that we did on super magnet crashes, we noticed a few things that we wanted to improve on this time. One was our setup. If you remember that video, the magnets would start to come together and they would slide because they were dragging on the bottom. We wanted to create a way this time so that we could control the point of impact and we would be able to see the crash in the same spot so we could get some good video of it. One of the things that I want you to look at now is once I'm going to be doing the crash, I will now put the safety glasses on because we want to make sure that if there is any scattering of metal and anything flies around, the eyes are protected. Next, we're going to be using our big leather gloves that you've seen these gloves in other videos before. We have to remember what we're looking at because these magnets are very powerful. And this magnet is already mounted in here. I've got it held by screws. It's a two inch diameter, one inch thick N50 magnet, as is this one. And from this distance, they're not really affecting each other. I don't feel it trying to pull or anything. So what we're going to do now is put it in this end of the tube. As I put it in this end of the tube, I may have to take my glove off here to get it in, I will now hold it in place and push with this stick. And as I push with the stick, it is going to approach our target, which is the Coca-Cola can. Now, we're going to see what happens. And if you like that one, check these out. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I told you we were going to do a few crashes, and that, that helps make things more entertaining. But remember, this is a video about safety. 
First, you want to look over the area before you open the box to remove the magnet. Make sure that you're either working on a plastic table or you're working on a wooden table, something where the magnet is not going to attract. Make sure you don't have pliers or scissors or screwdrivers nearby. If you have a large magnet, make sure you have a set of these welding gloves and your safety glasses to make sure that you can handle these and stay safe. We want to make sure that you go home with all 10 fingers at the end of the day. And if you have any questions about magnet safety, or if you're getting a large magnet and want to make sure you're handling it right, contact us at Super Magnet Man. We'll be glad to help you. Because even though magnets can be fun, they can be educational, they can solve problems, we have to stay safe. So with that, thanks again for watching.